What's up guys, so in this video I'm gonna be talking about the upcoming user activated soft fork in Bitcoin. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention, August 1st is gonna be a big day in Bitcoin because that's when the Bitcoin network, and I'm gonna put this in quotation, the Bitcoin network upgrades. Now it's up to you to determine if this upgrade is good or not. There's a couple of possible outcomes. You have one called SegWit, you have one called SegWit 2X, uh, then you have the user activated soft fork, which, uh, which potentially might split Bitcoin in two, and you might see two Bitcoins uh, temporarily, or in fact, there is a probability that you might see two Bitcoins, period, uh, in general. So if you haven't been paying attention, I'm not gonna go through exactly what's happening, because that's a whole big can of worms, and that is based on game theory, and no one can precisely predict exactly what's gonna happen. Let me put it that way. However, if you're interested in that, I did an interview with Jimmy Song. You can check a link below this video. I highly recommend that you actually listen to that so you get yourself caught up to speed. However, the point of this video, and I'm gonna make this video very short, the point of this video is to uh, be prepared for what's happening August 1st and to safely and securely store your Bitcoins offline. Because most people, to be honest, they store them online, they store them on a hot wallet, uh, or they store them in a wallet in general. So August 1st, if there is a potential fork in Bitcoin, if Bitcoin does decide, uh, or the network does decide to fork, whether that is a temporary fork, uh, or whether that is a permanent fork, depending on the hashing power, if miners decide to hash the new chain, uh, the new Genesis chain, who knows? It doesn't matter what happens. What matters is you protect your private keys, and what matters is you control your Bitcoin, as opposed to you being at the mercy of your wallet or of your exchange. So if you do have Bitcoin on, let's say, exchanges such as Coinbase or Kraken or Quadriga or let's say Poloniex or Bittrex or your wallets such as Jax or Bread Wallet uh, or Mycelium, it doesn't really matter. I really recommend that you take them off of there and store them on a paper wallet, on a paper wallet or a cold wallet such as this Ledger Nano. Because at the end of the day, you don't control them when you have them on different people's platforms you are at the mercy of people's platforms. And depending on the contingency plans that they have, if there is a hard fork or a soft fork, if, if there is a chain split in general, even though it's temporarily, I'm not too sure the contingency plans that they have to safely protect your Bitcoins. Because if there is a split, well, same thing like Ethereum, now you have Ethereum Classic and regular Ethereum, uh, you will double up or double down, whichever way you look at it, you'll have two Bitcoins. So if you have, say, 100 Bitcoins right now, if there is a successful split or even a temporary split, you will have uh, two Bitcoins regardless. Now, it all does depend on the contingencies of the services that you have online. However, I'm a firm believer in safety. I'm a firm believer in security first. So I highly recommend that you start offloading all your Bitcoins, whether that is on a Ledger Nano S, I really recommend this small device, there's a link below this video, or uh, if you can't order this on time, Paper Wallet, which I just released a big guide on Block Geeks, you can take a look below this video, there's a massive guide step-by-step, -step. it shows exactly how to create and print out a Paper Wallet safely without actually malware and hackers getting your private keys through Wi-Fi, etc. To summarize, August 1st is a massive day for Bitcoin. We really don't know exactly what's gonna happen. You need to protect your private keys. You need to protect your Bitcoin. So take everything online, offline, put it on a paper wallet, put it in a hardware wallet, and sit back and relax. Because for that period of time, we've been approaching a couple of days before August 1st, the network will be congested. We could see volatile prices. It might be dumping off due to fear, fear of the unknown, fear of what's gonna happen with Bitcoin, or it might be pumping it up due to people speculating and trying to do a quick arbitrage before there is some chaos. I really don't know. Uh, you know, Even if you talk to Jimmy or you talk to anybody who's quite well versed in the Bitcoin space, no one can concretely state exactly 100% accuracy what's gonna happen. But the best thing you can do is what Warren Buffett talks about. Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, refer to rule number one, don't lose money. And in this case, not losing your money is protecting your private keys, holding them so you control them. So there, if there is a chain split, you have two Bitcoins based on your private keys. You have Bitcoin number one and Bitcoin number two, whatever you want to call it, Bitcoin Unlimited, Bitcoin uh, Classic. I don't know. I don't, I don't care about the abbreviations. Uh, but that summarizes up. Be ready for August 1st protect your Bitcoins, put them on a paper wallet. You can do them right away. Like I said, there's a guy below this video and stay smart and don't leave anything online. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.